Hey, Uncle Mark and the Mothership, Three String Cigar Box Guitar, The Police. This is Message in a Bottle. So uh, I played this live one time and realized it's like a little bit out of my range. And so I never played it live again. And then I got the request for this and I was like, hey, I remember this song. So uh, it, the police have uh, rhythms that are very reggae. They also have very, uh, very difficult chord changes and the songs are motoring fast. So if you feel like slowing these songs down as you learn them, please do. I'm going to play it at speed and then we'll break down exactly what I'm doing. And uh, so uh, without further ado, here we go. <laughs> So what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. They're wound, they're electric. I am playing through a Roland Mini Cube and I'm using the chorus section of the effects. And I'll show you that at the end of the video. So what do we got going on? We have open G, G sharp, A. That's an important chord in this song. B flat B, that's an important chord in this song. C, C sharp, that's an important chord in this song. D, that's an important chord in this song. D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. So, this song is very chordy. So, if you know what I mean, it's got a lot of chords in it. And it's got a fairly difficult rhythm that it took me a little while to get. So I want to go through this first section, the Castaway and Island Lost at Sea, because it's four chords over and over and over. It's C sharp, A, B, C sharp, F sharp. And this F sharp is made by taking your C sharp, your F sharp, and your C sharp. You could play it this way. Okay? So, if you're here, A, B, take your finger and slide it over, and then make your shape. Then C sharp again, A, B, move your finger to right there on that F sharp, then bring your hand around. So the first way to get the rhythm is to do it one stab at a time. C sharp, A, B, F sharp, C sharp, A, B, F sharp. So if you played this and just played with it, you could B, F sharp. So you'd be hitting it twice now. You went from hitting it one time to twice. Once you get it that way, I want you to start picking these notes out. So you're going... One, two, three, 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 one, two,
When you have that, okay, so we've gone from one, 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 to two, 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 okay? Now you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So it's a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So when I think of three notes, if you just played them individually, out of 100%, they'd be 33 and a third. So 33%, 33%, 33%, right? But what I really want you to do is this bass note. Those bass notes, I want you to give about 55 or 60%. And the rest of them, don't worry too much about them. So it's a... Okay? So that's the way to think of the rhythm. You want to grab that note. That's really important on that A. Right? That A note is critically important to getting this vibe. Okay, do you remember, uh, you know, Andy Summers has a lot of strings to work with, and we also have Sting that's an incredible bass player. Really, you can't, I, you can't say too many things, too, too many great things about his bass playing because it's just great. It's absolutely great. And so you have this vibe that's going through this tune. <laughs> Right? So it's really important to try to get that vibe using three strings, and that's the way I've found to do it. Right? So also using chorus really helps. Chorus is a great effect. So we've got that section down. Now we need to send an SOS to the world. So that's an A, D, and E. So, A is pretty easy. We've been playing A, 2-2-2, two, 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 bar chord. Now you're going to play D this way, 2-0-2. Two, two. Then you're going to play E, 4-2-4. Four, four. So it's A. And that's what you're doing here, D, E. Okay, so A, move your finger up, put your second finger here, then you move your finger over, finish off the shape. So watch how I move into someone gets my message, okay? So. And I slide this shape up to F sharp. I hope that D, someone gets my... Now, you could say I could go from F sharp to D down here. But I think moving to this D is much quicker. And that's why I'm going to do that. So it's F sharp and D. I hope that someone gets my... I hope that someone gets my... So this F sharp is F sharp here. So it looks like six, four, six. I hope that seven, 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 D, F sharp, F sharp, D, 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 F sharp, F sharp, D, D. And from this point, slide down one fret. Message in a A. C sharp, A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the last line of the lyric and go into this chorus really slow so you can see it one more time. So... Rescue me, for I'm falling, falling to despair. A. Sharp. 
D F sharp D C sharp A C sharp A Message in a bottle Now we're gonna ramp it up Okay, so what I'm doing when I ramp this thing up is every other time when I get to this F sharp, I pull. So, first time, second time, I pull on the second time F sharp. Advanced players, that's a little more subtle nuance, and it gives this song a, a, just a really rocking vibe. So what I did there was use dynamics, bring you up, and drop you. So you're doing the boom, 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 boom. I send and really fast. I'll, I'll send an SOS to the world. I send an SOS to the world. I hope that we're going really fast now. I, I hope that someone gets my, I hope that someone gets my drop. Message in a bottle. Right, so it ramps up, it ramps down, and then you're back to the back to ramping up again. And using those dynamics within this song really, really enhance it. When you play it live, it'll just knock it out of the park. Um, when I I only played this song live once and it really went over well. I just can't sing it with any justice at all. So I decided to pull it out of the repertoire. But what a kick-ass tune to play! Um, all I can say is give it a go. Even if you just play it slow and easy, you can have a lot of fun with these different rhythms. And these are things you're going to need to know anyway as you get to be better playing classic rock. So there are a lot of fast chord changes that really help your learning curve. So work on that. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I truly appreciate it. I do have a PayPal link here down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. And uh, a buck a show is all we ask. Thank you so much for all your generosity. And I told you I'd show you what I'm using on my cube here. So I've, uh, I'm on the Brit Combo. My gain is minimal. My uh, tone is dimed, but I've got the effects on, and I am on that chorus. And you can see I'm just about on that third notch, so give that a go. And I've got a, a lot more reverb than I normally have, and that seems to uh, work really well with this song. So something to look at, something to think about. Thank you so much for everything you do for me, and we'll see you again soon.